तनाव बढ़ दई दर्शक दीर्घा को को भन्दा को चढ़ को भन्दै भिड दई र इन्जिनहरु छिट धेरै वर्षहरुमा
<laughs> Hold on, no, dude. dude. Hold on. Okay, stop. What you're telling me is that Peter, a.k.a. Slap Train, the dude with the nerves of steel, went from the YouTubes to the drift cars. This brave dude got freaking scared by a squirrel. Come on, guys. I mean, I appreciate it all. It was an angry-looking squirrel, though, James. I mean, you guys weren't there. Yeah, they, <laughs> I mean, they are scary. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes they, you know, they're rats with bushy tails. <laughs> uh, but, but, but time to get serious, all right? Let's bring it down. This is why you're on the show, all right? We got to ask. What do you think of Bruno Durand? Okay. Uh, I knew it was going to come. Figured, right? Let's get serious about it. Yeah, he's been beefing with everyone lately. Uh, he's ruffled some feathers out there, especially James's. Uh, but his driving on the track, look, it backs all that trash talk up. So, are you a fan? Am I a fan of Bruno Durand? Um, I mean, in a way, yes. It's hard not to be impressed by his run of victories. I mean, Absolutely. he said he'd do it too. Yep. Now he's dominated in the Dirt Moto Series his whole career, and now he's showing he's mastered the four wheels too. I mean, what can't this guy do? Yeah, I mean, I cannot help but be impressed. And to be honest, he had to do something. I mean, you watch him in the Dirt Moto Series, just wasn't doing it for him anymore. He, he wasn't getting any joy, no satisfaction out of it. So what does he do? He throws a little baby fit. He yells at a couple reporters after a couple of races, and apparently that's all you need to get a top seat in the dirt off-road series I'm, these days. I'm going to go yell at some people. Yeah, I'm going to go yell at some people. Maybe I could uh, maybe I could be a race car driver. I did see that it's dirty, it's gritty, but the gamble paid off. And yeah, I do enjoy the attitude. I don't really think it's entirely sincere, Ooh, though. Ooh, juicy. Yeah. Getting a little spicy in here. So you're saying it's a bit of an act, then? I mean, to a degree, he's already established in another motorsport, and now he's dominant in this series, too? Yeah, I mean, one thing that this dude does not lack is confidence, so I'll give him that. Right, so the race seems to be won before he rolls up to the starting line. He gets in your head, and he gets that mental edge over you before the race has even started. That's a strategy. Yeah, one he's used his whole career before he switched over, uh, and that counts for nothing if they don't back it out on the track. Exactly, and he does, though. That's the problem, but be sure we all want to know how he reacts to a loss. What is he going to do? Yeah, exactly. You know, that is just as important to any chance champion to any sportsman you know winning you know i don't want to say it's easy but it's easy after you've won what's really hard is after you've lost so who do you see beating him mm, i've thought of it a few times it's a tough one but i got one in mind and i'm gonna give you another option that i'm not too sure on but hey all right uh cool man we're all ears hit us first i'd say aj mm -hmm. of course why have we not seen them in the main event together yet yeah, why that's a good question man i think there's something behind that though there has to be i mean if you think about it there has to be an opportunity somewhere down the line. I know you would think that, but then you look at all the main events and it just never came. And here's the thing. When has our boy AJ ever backed down from a challenge? Right. So there's AJ and I think he actually wins that matchup and maybe that's why we haven't seen it yet. Mm. <laughs> yes. I like that this has turned into a conspiracy <laughs> podcast. Uh, who else you got? Okay, wait, before, right before, maybe somebody emerges from the smaller teams. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So we've seen this before. Someone just shows up and they bring something a bit different, something fresh, something something new we've never seen before. A sauce. Yeah, a little sauce. A little, a little a dry rub. You know, something mm, spicy, yeah. right? And like whether, whether that's a skill or a style or whatever. And, and I want to point out that is very much like what Durand has done. But this person, I don't necessarily think, has to be established in another motorsport. No, exactly. You got me thinking about some sauce, though. A little bit of honey barbecue goes a long <laughs> way right now, right? But yeah, somebody definitely. up and coming, though. Someone, someone up and coming. And there's one or two that might be on the rise right now. So... Keep an eye out on that talent. So uh, I got to ask, uh, how do you like your chances? I've thought of it. I mean, to be honest, though, it's easy, right? No problem. I'm going to leave it to them, though. I'm a bit busy at the moment to get involved. <laughs> All right, man. I like your style. Uh, watch out for those squirrels before you get into any race cars. Uh, we got to take <laughs> care of some sponsorship it. stuff. We'll be right back. It's the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media.
अर्को डर्ट अफ रोड श्रृंखला रेस चल रहे कुछ नमस्ते नेपाल
，我们都在期待着这一刻的到来。万众欢呼，举世灯电力。
Publikum tar av når sjåførene lager litt